Good day! In this video, we are going to do the incorrect proof of 0 divided by 0 equals to 2. As I said, this is a misconception, it's a mathematical fallacy, and this is not true. So in this video, I would like you to find out which of the steps that I made that had made this proof irrelevant. So now, we're going to start the proof, the incorrect proof of 0 equal to divide by 0 equal to 2 by stating that 0 divided by 0 is equal to 100 minus 100 because 100 minus 100 is 0 and the bottom, the denominator is also 100 minus 100. So we're going to start with that. The first thing we're going to do, so we are going to leave 0 divided by 0 on, as it is. We're going to simplify the, the expression on the right hand side. So right hand side, we're going to put R H S, which is the right hand side, we're going to simplify that 100 minus 100 divided by 100 minus 100. So 100, we can re replace 100 by 10 squared minus 10 squared, okay? And then at the denominator, we're going to change it to 10 times 10, 10 times 10, which is 100 minus 10 times 10. So there's no special thing that we've done, we just convert 100 to 10 squared, another 100 is 10 squared, and the denominator we replace 100 with 10 times 10, and the second one is also 10 times 10. Okay, so we are on the right track. Okay, so now if you know 10 squared minus 10 squared, this rule you need to know. Okay, a squared minus b squared equals to a plus b, a minus b. This is the score, the sum of Two squares. You have learned this in calculus. So a squared minus b squared is equal to a plus b, a minus b. Okay, so there's no big issue on that. So what we're going to do, we are going to simplify. This is the sum of two squares. Okay, the, the numerator is sum of two squares. We're going to replace it by a plus b, a minus b. So a is 10. B is also 10, so we're going to change it to 10 plus 10, A plus B, 10 plus 10, and then 10 minus 10. So, so far, so good, okay? And then we are going to simplify the denominator, okay? The denominator is 10 times 10, okay? So, 10 times 10 minus 10 times 10. So what we're going to do, we're going to factorize the denominator, okay? Factorize the denominator, so we're going to be 10 is the common factor, so we take out the 10, and what's left is going to be 10 minus 10, okay? So that is so far what we've done. Okay, the next step is going to be interesting, is that we, because 10 minus 10 is the same as numerator and denominator, so we're going to divide both sides by 10 minus 10. Both the numerator and denominator by 10 minus 10, so we can cancel them out. Okay? So now, when we divide by that number, okay, what we are left with is 10 plus 10, which is going to be 20, and the denominator is going to be 10. So what we are left now is going to be 20 divided by 10 is equal to 2. So if you see from the top, okay, the top of the equation where we have 0 over 0, so on the right hand side is 2, on the left hand side is 0 divided by 0, 0, zero divided by 0, then that's equal to 2. So we have proof that 0 divided by 0 is equal to 2. So I want you to think, use your thinking head and tell me what went wrong in my explanation there that doesn't allow this to happen in real mathematics so leave your comment in the comment section and i'll see you in the next one cheers everyone and have a good day